Greetings, weary travelers. Come, warm yourself by the fire, and let us regale you with mighty tales. Tales of adventure, tales of heroism, tales of Tamriel. I'm your host, Ajelos, and I'm joined by my amazing friends and co-hosts. We got Ark and your Silver Shield. How are you, buddy? Well, I'm doing better, thanks to you taking over the show at the last minute <laughs> for me. Uh, Indeed. I was pretty tired. I was pretty tired. You uh, know but I'm doing great now, ready to talk all things about the Elder Scrolls Online reveals. Indeed. And yeah. Indeed. You know, it's actually really funny because I, I'm. you were like, are you going to be here on the show this week? And I said, yeah, I'll be there. Um, <laughs> but when I put my son down for a nap or for bedtime, it was about 8, 11, 8, 15 or so. Like he, and he went down for a nap pretty quickly. He was pretty tired. Well, so was daddy. And I'm sitting there going, oh, it's like three hours till the show and I'm already sleepy. So I actually laid down on the couch and I set an alarm, put it on my chest, on my phone. (laughs) And I fell asleep for like an hour and like 15 minutes. And my alarm went off. I'm like, oh, time to get up. Time to, so I I actually already slept about an hour. (laughs) And now I'm back. I mean, I've got to to wake up for tails. Let me see how many alarms I have. Hold on. (laughs) So if we were to do the show, at 10 p.m., I have eight different alarms starting <laughs> from 5.15 all the way to 5.45. And then for 11 p.m., I actually have four alarms because I get an extra hour of sleep. sleep. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That it's is like, dedication. Uh, that looks yeah. an awful lot like my work, or not my workout, but my uh, my wake out alarms in the morning. So it's like the first one's like wake up. Fifteen minutes later, it's workout. Thirty five <laughs> minutes later, it's take shower. <laughs> Fifteen <laughs> minutes after that, it's like get dressed and head out the door. Like <laughs> it's insanely regimented. Anyway, <laughs> we also got to say Lotus of Doom. How are you, buddy? I am better than I've been all week from anybody who follows me on Twitter as I've been a diseased mess pretty much uh, all week. (laughs) And our resident... probably don't sound great. No, you sound sound pretty good. You sound pretty good. I feel nasally. (laughs) uh, There's a solution to the disease problem. Oh. It better not involve the legal (laughs) warning. Play an Argonian. High disease resistance. That's how it is. That's true. That's true. Yeah, uh, and our resident red shirt is having internet issues. So, <laughs> our resident red shirt. But no one watches Star Trek. Red no, shirt. I actually get that. I, yeah, I okay. don't, but I get that reference. Yeah, our resident red shirt, uh, Promethean, uh, will probably be back next week. He really wanted to be here this week, of course, but yep. he was having internet issues again. Yeah. Uh, like his internet service provider hates him, like with yes. gusto. Yeah, no, it's it's oh, a yeah. deep hatred. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. So, um, anyway, we've got a fun show planned for you guys this week. Uh, we got our tales. I believe we got a tale of Guarnir again. Yeah, we do no. yet again. Yeah. Oh my god, I yep. love it. I love it. And of course, we got some news coming out of uh, Zenimax Online Studios. Um, uh, we had a departure at the studios from one of the employees there. Uh, they actually showed us some of the new race changes that we will be discussing as well as pretty much everything season of the dragons. So indeed. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, we do have one more announcement that we're going to do right here. Um, how do I want to say this right off the bat? I'm trying to think of how I want to say it. Um, <laughs> Arcanir silver shield, my good friend, one of my best friends in the world. Uh, will actually be taking over the main chair of Tales of Tamriel. Uh, my real life schedule has gotten insanely hectic uh, between you know my family, my new job, uh, running the network itself, um, doing multiple podcasts. I was going to say, it's not like you're just running one <laughs> podcast. Yeah, it's not just one. Uh, we're an official content creator uh, for the Intrepid Studios Ashes of Creation MMO. So a lot of efforts being put into that in order to make that a really, really popular and really powerful show. Um, and a lot of my focus has been running that. And uh, Arkaneer has graciously stepped up to be the main chair. Uh, have no fear. 
Jealous isn't really going anywhere. I'm just going to be a co-host going forward. Uh, so he's going to be taking care of all the audio editing and video editing and stuff like that and, and running the show going forward. So that's an amazing help to me, and I really appreciate that arc. Um, as I said a long time ago, no worries, I, I could not imagine <laughs> doing this show without you. Uh, so, And now we really can't imagine doing it without you because you'll be doing all of it. <laughs> yeah, um, it'll be a literal just, dumpster fire without you. <laughs> yeah. Can I just announce my first executive order? As oh, the damn it. host of the show. <laughs> there shall be no more Guars. Oh. <laughs> All right. He's already as, corrupt with power. As... He's been in charge for four seconds and he's already corrupt with power. I know he, he is. He's <laughs> he's clearly corrupt with power. You However, should, should as as, well. as the head of the network, I'm exercising exercising my veto of your executive order <laughs> and double oh, wow. powers. Can you do that? <laughs> Double uh, guar. Yeah, because whenever you right. finish editing the audio, I can always splice in guar stuff before I push it out to the RSS True. feed. So all video mm. can just be like a dancing guar gif. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so next, what I need to do is make sure Ag lives the entire DCN to me, <laughs> so I can veto his veto, and then. Yeah, we'll okay. It's it's a long term plan. We'll we'll work it out. Yeah, we'll we'll figure this out. We'll definitely figure. I mean, this, this out. plan ends. This plan ends when I replace Todd Howard himself to get rid of wars from the <laughs> and entire remove IP. them from the series. <laughs> wait, wait. Does that mean if you're gonna replace Todd Howard, so Todd Howard will then replace you and he'll be on the show? Because that would be freaking awesome. Wow, that'd oh, be man. that'd be quite a shuffle. <laughs> See, no. at every turn, I realize there are <laughs> minor problems in my plan. I'm like, this is a win-win for up. us. I think that'd be amazing <laughs> to have Todd Howard on this show. Yeah. And okay. not have any guards. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, yeah Todd Howard <laughs> it, it is no a win-win. Yeah. I don't see a problem. Yes, it's, it's, it's... <laughs> but anyway, that's our announcement. Like I said, uh, I'm not really going anywhere, but a lot of the stress of running the show doing multiple shows because yeah it's not even just two shows it's actually a lot of shows um <laughs> and and stuff of that nature and coordinating within the network uh has all been on me and uh now arkanir will be stepping up as the main chair again um again a chair. yeah because, but last time you gave it up <laughs> willingly when i'm like yeah I'm, I'm back to playing more uh this time it's it's all arc. Yeah, I mean, last time. But was I'm not leaving. I'm just that last last time I was trying to get you back on. This time I'm not giving you your show back if you want to. <laughs> oh that's, no! <laughs> so you're saying <laughs> you're saying I can be on the show. Con. I can talk all I want, but I don't have to do any of the work. Yeah. You're yes, not, please. You're, <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. Why do you have to make everything Tw sound? Twist my worse arm, than I, I don't want you. <laughs> Why do you make everything <laughs> worse than I planned? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you'll see. He'll give. Uh, I'm gonna give him like a month, and he'll be like, "Are you sure you don't want your show back?" <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired of editing this stuff all the time. You sure you don't want it back? Um, I'll be fine. I'm. I'm. I'm a pro at audio editing. It's like it's yeah. It's you. You open Audacity and then you press normalize. <laughs> That's some professional thing right there. I don't do that at all. Yeah, that's because you're not a professional. <laughs> <laughs> not untrue. Anyway. <laughs> not untrue. <laughs> yeah. I've only been doing this for like five years. No, no, no. Total it's amateur. It's my first day. First day. <laughs> anyway, guys, that was uh, our interview. And that's the end of the show. See you later. No. Yeah, no, that was it. No. <laughs> we got a lot to talk about. Let's go ahead and jump right on into the tales. Um, I'm going to go first. All right. Like okay. It. Yeah. Wow. Take I'm the initiative. First. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is more or less my last show as main host, so I get to dictate everything that goes on, so that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> All right. Well, I have been playing ESO. First off, I got to say I love Hate Bell um, <laughs> because I was not going to buy elsewhere for a myriad of reasons mm -hmm. that we'll get into later. Uh Obviously, the one that pisses me off the most is no physical CE. But anyway, we'll get to that. <laughs> um, 
No, we will seriously get to that. Um, <laughs> yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Um, but I wasn't going to buy it. I was like, you know what? I'm not going to buy it. Uh, I'm not real happy with some of the lore stuff. Uh, uh, Arimetheus, if you haven't checked him out, talk me off a ledge because he reminded me of a handful of things that I had forgotten. Uh, but they're still on very the thin ice. Do that. <laughs> well, no, they're the things that I have told you as well, but you just yeah, but it comes out of a heretic high everything elf I told mouth. you. It comes out of a heretic high elf mouth, so I can't trust anything <laughs> you say. Yeah, but. I, I noticed how you're not fighting back that I called you a heretic stuff. high elf. You're like, yeah, but still. Look, next week we're going to have photographic evidence of him having a thousand CP ranks of heresy for the Eldmary Dominion. <laughs> yeah, this is true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost there. Right, almost let me just there. see if I can get a character banned for harassment. <laughs> and name He's abuse. reporting Guarini. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Report <laughs> player Report Guard harasses my name. <laughs> Good times. But so besides that, I wasn't going to buy it. She sent me a key. So now I'm going to have to play elsewhere. <laughs> Which, I mean, I'm not over. Like, I guess I'm still excited because elsewhere is look gorgeous which again yeah. we'll get into oh, yeah. during the news like the whole zone mm. is fairly neat and cats are way better than argonians maybe i'll oh yeah be able to get out of murkmire by then and if not i may just skip murkmire because mm. i think it's a side thing i don't think it connects to anything from what i've been told murkmire yeah i've heard it's pretty independent yeah. I haven't done it either, so I, I can't, yeah, I can't I confirm that, that, but that's just why I've been told. They're like, meh. Yeah, I mean, it's neat. The one thing I do like, and I and I have actually been trying to finish Merkmire. I, I finished pretty much every quest that was within um, uh, Lil Moth. I will huh? say I did have a little bit of a nerd rage when, or not nerd rage, uh, nerdgasm. Um, I'm angry nerding out apparently since it's <laughs> at Lil Moth because if you've read the books uh, The Infernal City and Lord of Souls Lil Moth is the, f the, the first place you start in the books so it was neat to actually be oh. going there yeah 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 yes mm -hmm. yep and oh I see casual ranger in chat saying yes yeah, super independent mm -hmm. literally connects to no other DLC. Then I don't feel so bad skipping it. I am right. I mean I'm still going to do it. It's just I, I might not. I, I, just, I don't know. Yeah, I, I I usually am always like one or two story ones back because I get so distracted with other stuff. Right. So this isn't even out of the realm of what I usually do. I I'm torn because I love doing everything in order and a lot of it comes down to whether or not it's like canon you know, or not canon lore. Well, um, I'm saying the wrong words here, but that it all lines up. Normally they hide certain yes, things. Yes, you want it to be in chronological order as you... Yeah. Yeah, no, I know exactly Almost what you mean, every other I, DLC I, has done something that's led uh, into a next Right, it's one. like a nod toward the next thing. No, I do the exact same thing. Right, right. Uh, so that's kind of where I'm, and I, I've been playing around. I've been messing around. In I think honestly, I also think it's just the the zone in general. I don't know what it is about the zone in general. I mean, it's a swamp, so you're just like it, exactly. Yeah, I was gonna say. I mean, it's an Argonian fill. It's swamp. literally it's the... <laughs> Tamriel's toilet. <laughs> yes, I mean, I mean yeah, actually, maybe. from the shape of it, you know, America's <laughs> dong when they talk about Florida. Honestly. It's Florida. Merkmeyer is Florida. Just gonna put it out there. <laughs> to be fair, we did have a whole episode on it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you know, by the way, the house, the famous... Arkaneer's toilet, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, that one. I mm -hmm. wouldn't have called it that. Uh, but it is actually on sale. Um, or rather, not on sale as in it has a discount, but it's available, is the right word, for 15,000 plus crowns. Uh, just just to put it out there. Slow. That is a porcelain throne if I've ever heard of one. <laughs> 15,000 crowns. 
<laughs> that yeah, is... I'm not. <laughs> I like that house for reasons that are never discussed on the show. It's weird. No. Right? <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, but uh, I'm not going to 15,000. <laughs> <laughs> I almost I wish I could can you gift houses I don't think you can that's right they're too big thankfully not no. yeah I think that <laughs> oh no no I wouldn't gift it to you Ark I'd gift it to Lotus so he could take pictures of Guarnier in the oh. toilet <laughs> <laughs> I mean you can just preview yeah there you go oh, yeah that's just true preview it why and... am I like this Shut yeah up. why why would you feed it <laughs> why am I like this yeah so that's pretty much what we need to see is is the uh, the golden elf Guarnier in the golden toilet mm -hmm. of of Merkmeyer. <laughs> but I have been messing around with Merkmeyer. I'm up to the point where um, it, it was actually really neat. Uh, if you haven't done Merkmeyer, it's a little spoiler, but it's kind of like a side quest. It's not even the main storyline. You're dealing with one of the shadow scales. She's like a blind shadow scale, but she's insanely like revered in the village. Oh, cool. And you find the it's a dispute. It's literally people's court is what it reminds me of. You have one person over here who says that the Salt Reese farm is theirs. Another person says they owe me a ton of money. Um, your family owes me funny. a ton of money, so you can't have the farm anymore. The, the, the person who owns the farm doesn't want the farm because they're a skooma addict. And, it, you know, it was their sisters or whatever and of course when she died now she's like well i can sell the farm and buy more skooma but the guy's like you can't sell the farm it's my farm because your sister owes me a bunch of debt people's court so of course <laughs> the bet you know and honestly i'd watch people's court more if it was done by a shadow scale because literally i mean who wouldn't want to have judge judy as casual ranger says if <laughs> judge judy was a member of the dark brotherhood Right. I mean, that would be an entertaining show. Yeah. Anyway, so you have to go to both sides. You find out what's, you know, you hear both sides of the story. And um, then you kind of have to decide, like, uh, who you're going to side with. And then you go back to the shadow scale. And she's like, okay, I'm going to arbitrate this. I need you to go get this kind of gel, like mud or chemical that's in the forest, yeah. and give it to this person. And then I want you to take this chemical from this flower and give it to this person and tell them they have to rub it all over their bodies. All right. This is getting kinky, but whatever you say, blind shadow scale. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then after you do that, tell them to meet me outside the gate. Okay. Did that. Met him at the gate. <sighs> There's the shadow scale. The first person standing there all like, I bet you they don't even show up. You know, because you're just a bunch of skooma. Anyway, the other one shows up, and they get into a little fight. And they're like, why are you here? And uh, the shadow scale's like, well, oh, before we begin, you need to shake hands. They go shake hands. Two chemicals interact, and they both blow up and die. That's fantastic. <laughs> and then she's like, then you're like, what just happened? That's fantastic. He's like, yeah, neither one of them deserved to have it. So now it'll go to someone else. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> <laughs> so wait that means the two Tom chemicals Real. react yeah. against each other and exploded I, yeah and I, I, both I, that sounds wonderful yeah I, some of the side quests in this game like the the uh what was it the high elf that goes to like that doesn't want to duel the orc i love the high oh, elf that's the best quest some in the of game. these side quests the orc are just goes so up punches them right in the face <laughs> some of those are just so funny like that they do that it's just like oh man there's such hidden little gems in some of the side quests <laughs> i see casual that ranger like that punch he's like seriously <laughs> yeah, such that. a rewarding quest both that one and the one where they both blew up i'm just like whoa <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's okay. so funny and and of course I mean, then you can punch. Yeah. You can ask the shadow the scale um and be like, so why'd you do that? And are don't, aren't people gonna be angry? And she's like, I'm a shadow scale. No one's gonna question me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That, that, so wait. Do do they not question shadow scale because they are afraid of them or is it more like Morak Tong and Morovin? Uh, a little bit of both. Like I everyone say, knows she's both? dangerous, but the Argonians revere Sithis in such a way. In fact, actually this is something that I learned that was pretty neat. 
Um, any single per or any single Argonian that's born under the sign of the shadow, which I knew already, is devoted to shadow scales. Mm-hmm. There is one tribe yeah. in particular, I think it's the Deadwater tribe, who literally wait to fornicate until they know that the egg legging oh. cycle oh, to will try to get line them up. To- Yes. They have the largest amount of shadow scales produced by any Argonian tribe. So in my head, they just have an annual screwing day where it's yes. like, everyone just hook <laughs> up. Yeah, right? Yep. You know, because we need to get them eggs out. Everyone has yep. to get pregnant this exact time. hammered on his sap and let's get to it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's got to be one of the best parties. I'm just saying. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's... Also, probably why I'm sort of scared about going into the swamp. I'm afraid I'm stumbling upon that Argonian orgy, and I just don't want to <laughs> turn around. I'm like, like no, nope. no, no. <laughs> this is not where I left my car. I got to turn around. <laughs> but that was a neat quest. I have to go up to the Bright Throat Village. Um, I like the Bright Throats. Not as much as the Naga Kerr. I think the Naga Kerr are not dead water. Naga Kerr are different, if I remember. Oh, I've yeah, there's so many of the tribes. Yeah, um... Yeah, I don't. I can't remember. They did a good job with that, where it's because they don't really get into the tribe stuff too, too much prior or else. No. you know, elsewhere. No pun intended. Like in the series. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, like from what I had seen, what like even the different motifs that are just popping up from the different tribes and stuff. I was like, oh, that's actually really cool that they like address the tribal nature of them down there and stuff. Mm-hmm. So, be yeah. curious to see how that goes once I actually get into that zone. Yeah. Um. Well, I hope your desire to do the show doesn't die as soon as you hit Merkmire because it almost <laughs> killed my desire because yeah, it's I know Merkmire. you kind of like, it, it's funny people either are like all about it or it seems like that one ground them to a bit of a halt. It, it seemed like yeah. it was really polarizing. You either loved it or you yep. hated it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it just was like this is a slog or oh my god, I finished that so fast. Yeah, there wasn't a whole <laughs> bunch of ambib- ambivalence when it came to Merkmire. It was yep. one or the other. Mm-hmm. And I, well, I guess that's kind of like the thing with Argonians. People are all about Argonians. Yeah, Argonians you're either are all about Argonians, Argonians yeah. or you hate Argonians. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, and honestly, it's probably divided along those lines. If you had a love for Argonian, I think Promethean loves Argonians and therefore liked Merkmire, you know? So he's not here, so I can, I can paint mm-hmm. him as an Argonian lover and no one can <laughs> say otherwise. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, casual ranger not gonna lie i took my break from Merkmeyer. i'm just now finishing it i have the hardest drive to get like i want to get in and play but when i hit Merkmeyer, i log in I'm just it was like, just yeah it didn't i don't what was the other one that, you had one other one that held you up that thieves guild play. thieves guild that's what it was oh. And not because I didn't love the desert of Abba's Landing. It was beautiful. It's just the content that I had to do. I didn't. Yeah. See, I I like Dark Brotherhood so much oh, more than Thieves Guild. Dark so Brotherhood, like, I think I hammered out in like two days because I couldn't yeah. stop playing. I still yeah. haven't finished it because I still need to get my rank up to 10 so I can oh, do Oh, yeah, you were saying that because it was rank like I always forget about that. Yeah, that one is different because Thieves Guild, you can rank up your thieving skill by just pickpocketing anyone. Yep. Yeah. That one requires you to do their dailies. Yeah, I I don't like daily. I hate dailies. Uh, one, day, daily, one day, I didn't really, Dark it, Brotherhood. Dark Brotherhood dailies didn't bother me because they were kind of neat. No, but it takes time and you have to sneak around. I don't like that. I just want to yeah. go in and you don't have to sneak blast around. my way. Yeah, I was going to say, they don't care you how you do it. And you don't have to, but yeah. if you want to get quote the highest, unquote, like, sneak. <laughs> yeah, but highest rank, like for the for the big daily quest, you don't you need to complete it properly? I think properly? that's on Thieves Guild. I don't... Honestly, I'm trying to remember. I think most of the time... The the Dark Brotherhood ones were often like only kill one person, don't kill anyone else. Yeah, it no, was kill yeah, well, I mean, the... kill a side target. Oh yeah, or a side target it would give two different things. things so they mm-hmm. were much more forgiving yeah. than the Dark Brotherhood because you like yeah, yeah the highest reward in the other ones was having to do the heist and you know things of that mm. nature yeah, yeah that. the heist and the time limits were tricky when you refuse to get out of heavy armor and run around with great sword on your back and we're like i'm doing it it's like yeah right. this is not how this should be i playing. mean 
if there's no one to see you, you well, that's sweet. that's my thing. Is if I can decapitate <laughs> okay. everybody in one, you know, gonna report me? I I don't I don't know. Seems exactly, fishy. Yeah. No. <laughs> Seems very and then fishy. Horse just sees you, and suddenly you have a bounty because of <laughs> just watching you with judging eyes. <laughs> Oh my god, Skyrim and Oblivion. <laughs> yup. <laughs> right. Um, I was doing a lot of the PvP. I've been doing PvP but dailies every day. Uh, nice. I missed one day. And I think it's... I don't know why. I don't know if I was tired or... I don't know. I've been playing a lot of BDO lately too. So I don't... But I don't think it was that. Because normally I do my dailies before I jump mm -hmm. into BD. There was some reason. Maybe I got home from work late and it just slipped my mind, but I know I missed one day. Did you happen to maybe fall in the same 20 hour loop because it's on that 20 hour reset or whatever? Maybe. Did, maybe I maybe went that. to go turn it in and it's like, oh, and it was, I don't get one. So I'm like, oh, well, then I must have already done it today and it was before yeah, the reset. Yeah. Right. Maybe, maybe that. Yeah. I just know I missed a day. Mm -hmm. um, doesn't really matter. I already bought the berry. Um, mm -hmm. And remind me mm -hmm. on this yeah, one. Same. It's one of every berry, or is it four of the same berry? Uh, you want four of this Dawnwood berry to make this specific doohickey. Uh, in no, but I'm not sure if I want to have a Dawnwood in Drake. You'll have to make a thousand of the these things. Berry. That, that's my understanding. Aww. I am not the person to ask on this. Because I don't, I don't we know. need Dominic again in chat. Dominic, I know, are you here? Dominic, if you are here, no, I'm pretty sure you, you yeah, have lost you, again. I, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Is you feed it four of a type, and it yeah, will. That makes sense. The wording is sense. is was... very ambiguous. I, the it, problem it, is, I feel really great. bad because people do ask me about this, and I I realize. So you you know you mentioned you missed a day. Someone pointed out that I've been sitting on twelve tickets for three days. I was like, oh, I should probably buy uh. one. Uh, well, that's I already like, bought whoops. the thing, and then I maxed out again, and I bought another feather. Literally yep. ten yep. more, and I'll be able to get a second Indric mount. Mm -hmm. And I'll I was going to say I, I was that. upset for a second right. that I bought this berry, but then I realized yeah, if if I didn't buy this berry, I would have maxed out. All, maxed yeah. out anyways. Tickets, yeah. So yeah, I, that I, makes I, sense. I don't know. I'll I, turn mine into something, prob probably. Yeah, because I'll be able to get two mounts this year. Because I already have the one, right? And I'll be able to morph it. Yep. And at this point, I think I'm at like four of twelve feathers. So I'll be able mm -hmm. to buy all the feathers by the end of this event. When does this event end? Uh, Monday. I I've got no idea. Monday? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because if it's Monday, that's ten days, and I think it runs for ten mm -hmm. days. Then Makes I sense. should be able to get my last feather before it ends. If not, it'll be the first daily be, of the next be, one mm -hmm. that I'll get it. So. I believe Monday is also uh, Ratstone PTS. So yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hashtag get tested out. Ratstone got lost in mail. Anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, I've been doing that. Uh, fighting Sorks and PvP. Literally, like right before we started the show, I was in um, Burma doing the quest there, which actually is a really easy quest. I'm going to do that daily from now on instead of the stupid oh, yeah. scout. I've been doing the <laughs> scouting ones. And oh. of course, every time I do the scouting ones, like you should go scout the one farm that's on the yep. exact opposite side of the map. <laughs> yep. I'm like, really? It yeah, couldn't have been I mean, any just other battlegrounds. Right. Well, you have to finish uh, a battleground quest, not just a yeah, battleground. The, the, the battleground quest that is the, uh, Thousand a, metal a thousand points. points in a game. That one's well, super that's easy. That's not the one yeah, I get yeah. every day. I think the one I have now is win five Just battle. Abandon games. and retake the quest. Yeah, it, it'll re-roll it for you. You can that. dump them. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't I, know. I that. always save the win one for last because. So even I'm if, like, you, right, I'm gonna do if the you've not easy. done it, you pick one up. You can drop it. Drop it. Repick it up. And it can re-roll you another one. It could re-roll you the same one, but just keep doing it. You'll... Oh, so it's not yeah, even that you can wait just... another day. You can literally just keep dropping. No, 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 you no, can no, re-roll. Yeah, you just want. keep re-rolling until you get one that's not crappy. I I or... just do that. I re-roll until I get the thousand medal points, and it's done in one game. <laughs> <laughs> I love when we get to blow Ag's mind with some cheap trick. <laughs> it's like, like it just gave mine equals blow. <laughs> yep. Yeah. That that's it's an a easy casual. One. 
the, what the heck <laughs> am I doing running around matches. in Cyrodiil all day? Yeah, you really, that, uh, the other one you can always do, um, if you go to either Bruma or, uh, Shadenhall, yeah. mm. you know how it's got the two town quests? Yep. Uh, grab both, just turn one in, log out. When you log back in, you'll still be in that town. <laughs> just turn in the other one, immediately log back in. And that's, that's what I another, did with Bruma today. Yeah. The one I had yep. to do was like, go talk to the two guards stationed at the end of town. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Okay. It honestly took me longer because there was a stupid DC person running around, and I and I killed them once, and then they killed me twice. Yeah, they'll um, do that. I, I was run- wearing PVE gear. I wasn't even wearing any of my PVP gear, so I had like zero in pen. So, mm-hmm. yeah, it was a crap shoot either way. But, um, yeah. I, and I kept going back to try to fight them, but <laughs> yeah. Now, now I don't know. I don't know which is easier because I literally logged out right in Burma. Burma mm-hmm. might be easier than even doing. I the guess if you are already, ground. yeah. I guess if you yeah, are already, if there, you're already there, you're probably good. Yeah, yeah. Unless you have to queue and teleport and things like that, yeah, that will be faster. Yeah, because that one, but that daily is literally otherwise. go talk to the two guards at the side. Oh yeah, of town. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Those ones are all super easy yeah they're right there yeah the biggest problem is if you're not if you don't have it to port to right but, or the city's literally being controlled by another faction and they're doing the dark anchor or something like that right <laughs> right but even if they are that particular quest as long as you can get inside the building without getting yeah you just killed, scoot around them yeah yep. it's not a big deal anyway i've talked for like 38 minutes i think that's the end of my <laughs> tales who wants to come um, next? <laughs> I mean, should we just jump into the news? Well, because no, we no, got... no, 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 okay. no, right. no, no, no. As my <laughs> I last, tried. I tried my <laughs> last. Tried. That was uh, very thing sweet. of of being the main host of this, <laughs> where I get to control everything. Because when I, you know, next week I'm not going to be controlling it unless you know I will obviously host the show if Ark's not feeling up to doing. Sure, it, so. if he's sick or something. Yeah, but generally I won't. Be, he'll be doing the hosting. But I, you know, like even today he was going to do it. But I will definitely Ark. If you ever not feeling well enough that you need a, someone to host, I will. I'll gladly do it. Yeah, ne- never no. leave me in charge of anything electronic. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not a problem. <laughs> But you are not going to deprive me of my tales of Guaranir. <laughs> I will okay, if you try ahead. to sti- if you try to stifle tales of Guaranir, <laughs> I will build a second RSS feed just for Lotus <laughs> to do tales of Guaranir. <laughs> so, you cannot stop right. tales of Guaranir. Go ahead. I guess well, I guess we should go with the tales of Guaranir yeah. then, since yeah. that's yeah. Yeah. half of everything I did. Um, so. I've managed to get Guaranir up to 48. I was hoping to hit 50, but I've been in PvP at Ha, ton. you couldn't. I, I could not. Um, <laughs> I was playing a ton of PvP, um, but I did still mess around with it because I almost kind of burnt myself out on PvP since I had a lot more game time than I expected since I've been sick all week. There's not a lot to do when you're sick except sit around and play video games or watch movies or sleep. Mm-hmm. So... He got up to 48, so he's close. And I continued with the Sunhold um, grind to try to finish that uh, globe. And so I usually, I've mentioned before that my RNG, or in this case, Guarng, is pretty just average. I don't know how to take my RNG in this case. So I get these drops constantly. I mean, like, I'll kill a mob and I'll get a drop. And I'll kill the next mob and I'll get another drop. And I'm like, this is incredible. Except they're all the same piece. (laughs) It won't stop. Like, (laughs) So nobody seems to want them, but they're willing to buy them. (laughs) Like, nobody has the piece I need. So I have six of seven pieces for it, right? (laughs) Since I started counting, because it started to be a running joke in the group of us while we're farming, I have 17 of the writings alone. (laughs) And then I've got at least two of every other piece. A couple of them I have like five or seven of. And I don't know the one I'm missing, but I just have piles of these things, and I yell in zone, hey, does anybody want to trade? I have, and I literally list all six of them. (laughs) And I was like, I only need whatever is left. I'll give you 
all of them just for that one piece. Well, nobody this responds. Is yeah, this is my punishment. Nobody this is, responds. This is, this is how divines work. I so people told me last time that I could sell these things for even more. So I'm just like, okay, fine. You know what? I like undercutting to sell them fast. 10, 15k, <laughs> just boom, 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 sold immediately, gone. Just left and right. They're all. I can sell them off. I'm making a fortune. I can't finish this damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. So maybe I should. Like, grind sunspire if it's that profitable uh, yeah it, it's it's making me a lot of money and that was not why i was doing it. but warrenier is pretty rich at this point i think he's sitting at like 180k just from circling this one map doing nothing okay, else well, because 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 of the name rights i deserve 80 percent of that <laughs> i'm gonna file a uh, fair use law allows somewhere. for the use of parody <laughs> so you've got no oh, claim man. there bud oh man oh man but yeah, so I I don't know. But the thing I'm planning to do once I finish Sunhold or go insane, one of those two things, whichever happens first. <laughs> um, when we realized that I uh, couldn't really remember what the deal was with Abner Tharn's holding of the amulet exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to take Guarnier through the main storyline again, just as a refresher. Um, just because I haven't played that in... Well, it's the five-year anniversary, so yeah. it's been <laughs> it's five, five years, years yeah. since I've played the main story. So I'm like, I need to play through that again. And since people like hearing about Guaranir, Guaranir is going to try to save the world. This I hope filthy, filthy you can try, you can try soul up you and can just try destroys him. <laughs> to go and get your soul back. But we all know Altmer don't have souls. So Correct. Mm. So, yeah. It, it, I mean, it'll be a fruitless cause, but... <laughs> <laughs> but in it's it's funny because people are telling me that because I don't I honestly don't think Abner Thorn has the Amulet of Kings. I'm almost positive Sai Sahan hid it away because of course I, no one trusts no one trusts never, Abner Thorn. Period. Yeah, it's not it wasn't a matter of trust. He didn't they didn't give him the amulet of kings. Oh, you, you think know? he oh, ran God, away with yeah, it? Oh, like, like Jack. Yes, yeah, see, he I ran away with remember. it. That's the thing. I remember him wanting it, but when you mentioned it's like I don't think they trusted whether it was like, well, that sounds right too. So I had like zero recollection of it. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, well, crap, that makes me want to like replay that cuz one yeah. I remember it being good and two I'd kind of like a refresher cuz it's kind of hazy. And it's true. I very well could be wrong because I'm like, why would anyone give Abner Thorne the Amulet of Kings? Right they out of choice. Yeah, exactly. No one no. would. But at the end, he was the most powerful dude there. Well, that's only because yeah, everyone else thing. is in grief because we had to kill one of them. And he's like, yeah, not me. You exactly. can't kill I me. Mean, if probably no one was even thinking about the Amulet of Kings out of either grief or whatever it depends on who you you know sacrifice as well like think about it there is no way lyris can take on abnor tarn if abnor tarn is alert and ready to you know cast to god knows what sort of spells mm. he well he's a <laughs> sneaky cunning uh you know also a bit greedy yeah fair. and a very powerful imperial high chancellor battle mage he is very well able to take that amulet of kings if he chooses to do so. However, I'm googling it as we speak as well. But, like, what is the what is the well, set? That, that's exactly see, and that's just it. The fact that we're like discussing this makes me just go through it all. Okay, I definitely need to like do a refresher because I remember really yeah. liking the story too. So I was like, okay, whatever, that's that's fine. I wouldn't mind a nice go through, and since. The this is essentially okay, my first in alt. US, it's like, all right. Okay, in right. unofficial Elder Scrolls page, mm -hmm. it says Abnur Tarn took the Amulet of King and fled to Imperial City. Okay, so yeah, he 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 jacked it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the only yeah, because no one would give him. Yeah. Okay. After after Molag Bol's defeat, Abnur Tarn took the amulet, amulet and fled to Cyrodiil. Sorry, not Imperial City. Although it was suspected he would attempt to use it unbeknownst to what kind of a word is that <laughs> unbeknownst uh, that's him, a real word yeah, yeah it's, it's kind of an esoteric word oh, that's actually a it? word in of itself it's esoteric um, all right never mind <laughs> unbeknownst beknownst Benounced, yeah. yeah you got it yeah Benounced. okay all right it's not common uh, well, yeah. yeah it okay. literally means <laughs> not common knowledge sure yeah <laughs> unknown to everyone else yeah, yeah. <laughs> to him amulet's power had been expanded for so 
Tarn do have the amulet, and once again, Ag, you never, you never trust me with this. <laughs> <laughs> I can't no, trust no. the word of a filthy high elf. It's true. Did you not just hear how long I've been farming in Sunhold? There's clearly something wrong with you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but wow. <laughs> Who does oh, that? Man. I can't imagine. I should have been counting laps of times I went around that damn place. Because <laughs> right now I'm 1 to 48, basically just doing that in one random dungeon. I mean, this has been your tales for the last five weeks or so. I, I know. I, <laughs> just the saga time. of Guaranir, and then also I can... It's our most popular <laughs> segment, not going to lie. And that's why he's going to start trying to progress onto <laughs> the story now. I love it. Dipping my toes in the worlds of alts. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, I have just played freakish amounts of PvP. Um, nothing of note. I got relatively high on the shore leaderboards for a while, but I'm never pushing Emperor again. So I just, it was just, <laughs> it was what it was just because of oh, what I was playing. Oh, speaking of Emperors. Yes, that's kind of what I was going to say. <laughs> our very own Nate, mm -hmm. aka Misa. It has been the emperor of PC European mega server Sota Cell for the last few days now. Yeah, that is he's been, awesome. He's been so. rolling as the emperor and he hasn't lost it yet. I'm just checking and he's still the emperor with actually some solid AP difference as well. Um, apparently he's been, well, he's, I, I've seen him whenever I log in, he's in Cyrodiil, but, um, yeah, we, we've got an emperor out yes. of Tales of Tamriel. Mm -hmm. So congrats. I was going to say, congrats. It's, uh, yeah. I remember how grueling that was. So I was going to say, it's. I've it been was... boasting, like, I have a friend who's the emperor. I mean, I, that... I myself may be a casual, but you know, I'll have you know, I'll well, have you know, my friend it, is the emperor. Okay. It's so, like, it's one of those things. I'll have him exile think... you. <laughs> I think mine only wow. lasted for like 25 hours before I got dethroned or something because sleep <laughs> became a thing once I was crowned and ran amok for a while. I was like, I can't do this. <laughs> like, it took me so long to get to this point. I only can play for so long and I was like, I need sleep. Like, yeah. but it, it almost wakes you up because it is... It is, I mean, we'll get into the changes that came as a result of it. It is so unfair. It is like cheating, like... It is like <laughs> cheating and being allowed to cheat. It's, it's just so much fun. Um, actually, he did send me a like message of the buffs and everything, but um. Oh yeah, your stats got outrageous. I think. Yeah, he 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 was writing to me at midnight, but I was already dying, and now I can't <laughs> reply to him because it's his like five a.m. in the morning. So I'll just wait until noon when I know he would be awake, then reply to him. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for me. It's just been tons and tons of PvP. So other than uh, Guarnier's adventures, so that's right. pretty much my uh, my goodness. And it's funny when we talk about our tales, but we've mentioned this already in previous episodes. With all the events they've been doing, that seems like the majority of what our tales are. Because right, we doing keep events. doing what they plan. Yeah, it's been one right after the other. So. Uh... Yeah, and uh, shout out to Kit the Traveler who's in chat right now. Hello. Make sure you give them a follow. They do some amazing Guild Wars Two stuff. They're an amazing part of that community. Love them. They're great. Anyway, Guar died. Oh, right. Lotus died. There we go. Uh, no, just Arn, <laughs> my dog is licking my foot. So. A little bit of tails. Um, yeah, I mean, I I've been working quite a yeah. long long times they leave with a lot of overtime but um so i have i don't have any gameplay tales really but this finally arrived Woohoo! yeah My morrowind physical collector's edition after a year and a half i was able to get it yeah uh are you gonna put it right thing. next to your elsewhere collector's edition but um bump hey i made I my own i wish <laughs> i wish too Ah, uh, so uh, sad. This thing is, I knew, like, everyone was saying, oh, that Dwarven Colossus is massive. Uh, I didn't realize it was this big, dude. This thing yeah, is, it, like, 
it's meaty. It's as well. So the boxes, the boxes. We I had some troubles with it apparently. The boxes very banged up, like very banged up. Mm-hmm. But Colossus is it actually broke to thing that it's in. Really? So, wow. Yeah, I mean, the container of Colossus is broken, but Colossus is fine. Oh, that's so, so it's just like in game; it's freakishly durable. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, look at this guy. He is oh, yeah, he's bigger massive. than my forearm. He's massive. The problem is he doesn't really stand on his own, though. He he falls backwards with the slightest of, like, oh, external force. They, oh, really? So I, oh, I was going to say, when I attached the little blade to him, or whatever it is, his little, like, mm-hmm. helicopter piece, yeah. mine seemed pretty stabilized, although I don't really flick him in the face or anything like that. But. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> spitballs at just, him every once in a while. <laughs> If you just touch him just a little, he goes like, Oop, Oh, really? Because he's so heavy in the, like, because of, yeah, whatever. But <laughs> yeah, I mean, I did some battlegrounds yesterday. I've been doing the dailies as much as I can, like one battleground a day because it takes, what, 15 minutes max. Something like that. If everything yeah. is balanced. Um, I did play uh, about three hours yesterday because I wanted to open this on stream as a opening thing. And then... Um, one thing that the other I ended up streaming and playing yeah, so for three hours, but I just did Battleground, so there isn't much to hmm. talk about there. Um, so yeah, that's my tales. Also, I really want to talk about the announcements and everything, please. Okay, and that's true. <laughs> We're going to move on to the news and fight to the death. Who's doing it? Do you want to do it? I can nah, do you, it. you can do it, Ark. I, I've got a dog right. li- licking the side of my... <laughs> I keep being all- Really tickles. <laughs> Just so you know, as a co-host, I I won't be reading news. So <laughs> gonna, that's gonna either gonna be stay in Ark's wheelhouse, or he's gonna <laughs> pawn it off to either you or Promethean. So <laughs> it's fine. We'll we'll figure it out. I, I'm literally just gonna be here for conversation, <laughs> and that's it. All right. Um. So the major news, not within ESO, but from Zenimax Online this week, was uh-huh. that Eric Robel the lead combat designer, right, mm-hmm. was, um, has left ZeniMax Online Studios. So our new lead combat uh, designer is actually Brian Wheeler. Yep. Who also had worked on uh, Dark Age of Camelot, if I'm not mistaken. I, I believe think so. that's correct. Yeah, I'm pretty sure so, that is true. So now we have two people. Matt Fire was from DOC as well, right? Yes, Matt Fire definitely okay, was. Okay, so he we, was we, a we big now have two there. people. Matt Fire being the you know president, I want to say. I yeah. don't remember the actual CEO. I think is creative it? director. Yeah, creative director. Um, yeah, he's creative. No, he's Rich no. Lambert is creative. No, he's director. game director. Game director. Thank you. Right. Yeah. So yeah, uh, Brian Wheeler has become the new lead combat designer. So we'll see what changes come from that. Um, there's a whole forum going on about this. So if anyone wants to go ahead and take a look at the, well, more information, although there isn't much information, uh, you can go ahead and do that in the forums. Oh, there is a link. I've been trying to, I've been trying to do this from memory, but then there was a link right under the thing. Ta-da. I thought this was it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, everything I said is correct. <laughs> but I could have said it much faster. Oh, he worked on Warhammer Online as well. All right. <laughs> this Crushed nice. it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, they announced the race changes. They are making a lot of changes to the racial bonuses and passives this will be in the update 21 coming to pts next week so this isn't for elsewhere uh expansion but this is for ratstone dlc yes um hashtag missing in mail (laughs) 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 um they are actually doing some serious changes uh mainly getting rid of the percentage bonuses like 15%, for example, 12% max health, instead changing them into flat bonuses like 2,000 max health. Right. Uh, Also moving around a lot of bonuses. Um, Some of these are, in my opinion, they 
they're okay. For example, the Nord ones, I am actually looking forward to trying it out because it gives extra um, ultimate. Like, there's yeah, some extra I like the extra gain. ultimate there's buff. Physical and spell resistance instead of damage reduction. Yep. Um, so there are there are some serious uh, game changing changes happening. Um, some of the races apparently got the short end of the stick. Like people are not happy about the Dunmers. Yeah, they, uh, yeah, my buddy is not pleased. Yeah, I mean, for example, Dunmers lost their seven percent fire damage and two percent extra frost and shock damage uh, for weapon and spell damage of two hundred and fifty eight. Uh, so basically, the all percentages went away. There are no longer any like twenty percent of uh, of this to whatever percent of that. It's all gone. Yeah. Uh, instead, it's flat um, stuff. But yeah, we'll have to test it out. Uh, it, there is a full on forum post about this with all the details and developer comments as to why they made the changes that they made. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's pretty much about it. Do you guys have any anything you want to point I'm gonna out have about to test the race it changes? Because one of the things is they gave us a flat bonus now instead of that percentage change. And if you yeah. are really a higher end person, <laughs> I think it might result in a nerf. Like the Nords, for instance, I mm -hmm. think we, I don't know, maybe it sort of balanced out like Right. From a tanking perspective, they got marginally better, but it, it's very marginal um, overall. And I just have to check the stamina. Uh, I just might need to shift mm. some stuff around because um, yeah. based again, because I'm similar, I was like, oh, I'll wait and see. But it sounds like the way I have my character built, I'm going to be taking a bit of a nerf. Not, I mean, because I get the. I don't think it'll be buff. massive, but I no, honestly I don't think either, I have but more I mean, stamina. I think otherwise. I'm gonna, unless I'm calculating the percentages in the wrong order, that flat buff, I think I'm going to lose a few thousand health mm, and yeah. like maybe 1500 ish stamina if I was kind of throwing it out the way I've got mine built. Yeah. Unless I'm calculating it wrong. The ultimate thing is nice, but then <laughs> the only difference is um, the resistance buff. <laughs> I walk around at cap resistance. <laughs> See, so I'm yeah. like, okay, well, I guess I'll take stuff off and put it into something else, mm. which if that's the case, okay, I can scale those off and infuse them into something different or whatever. So it's like, mm. okay, then maybe I can just buff myself. I might just need to shift what I'm doing is all. Yeah. Yep. Um, so it's not, it might not matter at all. It's just, no, oh, I'll see how it is when I actually yeah. test it. I mean, exactly. I'm, I'm capped out as well, but this will allow me to remo remove like all points from, let's say, heavy armor focus and spell resist in champion points at least. Right. So I could just remove them and put them into something different. Maybe increase my like effectiveness of the you know bastion or quick recovery, whatever. We'll see. We'll we'll play around with this. Yeah, lot, I think there will be yeah. some options that. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I, it, I've heard people are happy. So Nord wasn't, oh, I, I think, I as see, big of a nerf oh, yeah. as some of Upset. the others. Yeah, Dunmer was but definitely. Most, but, yeah, Dun yeah, Dunmer people are not most happy, of, but a lot of people are happy elsewhere. Yeah, yeah. well, I can most tell of you, most Drakenborns are Dunmers. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, our so entire DPS group, except Zeri, who is a red card Nightblade, is Dunmer, like the full on full <laughs> oh, Magica Dunmers. So nice. yeah, they're not. It's quite one very happy. angry guild I can see. All yeah. Right. <laughs> Switch to Breton. They look. They look yeah. like they got a nice bit of buffing. I read that uh, on. I actually never read their buffs, but apparently high elves got the best buff out of it. Yeah, because they, they need always... it. Yeah, because they, they need. A yeah. Buff. Don't, they, don't they freaking always? <laughs> well, that that's sort of like when it came to stamina. It's like. Okay, the real issue with Red Guard is their adrenaline rush, that ability to give stamina back. Yeah. Oh, they, oh well, we we're going to buff that. Now it does off every attack. Well, <laughs> yeah, like, that's wait, not going to bring races more in line. It's just going to solidify Red Guard as the premier, you know. Right, stamina, D stamina yeah. DPS, you know. Khajiit actually are kind of, yeah, they've been Khajiit coming up because of the crit, but that's... I don't know. It's neither here nor there. Yeah. I I think somewhat comes down to whether or not 
you like one over the other, or you prefer sustain mm-hmm. over raw damage. But it comes yep. down to they didn't change enough, or they didn't change the stuff that really made um, this, you know, the abilities matter, or what really put things above and beyond. High Elf is still number one Magicka DPS. Just that's it. Yep. You know, they so. didn't change enough. Red Guard is still number one I, I, DPS for. Actually, I am quite interested in Orcs. Um, orcs f- fourth. Actually, no, it's the same. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> they they always had 10% sprint speed. So, never yeah. mind. Yeah. I don't, yeah. I don't think anything weird changed one. there. Um, they just they just changed the wording, so that confused me. So the in actual bonuses, twelve percent sprint cost reduction and ten percent sprint speed, quote unquote, and then it changes into increases your movement speed while sprinting by ten percent. <laughs> it's basically the yeah, same. Yeah, that, thing, that sounds, written exa- sounds in exactly like, the same. <laughs> So okay. I was confused. I was like, oh, they get movement speed. And then I was like, oh, no. Never oh, wait, they no, they originally got movement speed. speed. <laughs> yeah, always had that. Uh-huh. But yeah, that's about it for race changes. Okay. Can yeah. we- I'll definitely be curious to see how it plays. See if there's a noticeable Ag- difference at all. Do you Are you able to play the reveal trailer on stream? I don't have it. I have it prepared. on our Discord group. Uh, I don't have oh, it. Is that what it is? Yeah, that's that's what. What do you mean you don't have? Oh my god! What a what a. I wasn't close. planning on doing this. So, <laughs> free things on fire. But will you be able to? That's like, are you? Uh, yeah. Hold on. It's on YouTube. You can just put it on stream. I know. Because that, that's important. It, it is. While it you is. are setting it up, while you are setting it up, I'll set up the. Well, start of the news. So. Finally, Zenimax Online, uh, about three, four days ago on Tuesday, they announced, they did a reveal stream, announcement stream at one of the Twitch headquarters or something. I don't know where they were. They were in yeah, San Francisco. Like California. That's all I know. Yep. Um, yeah. Uh, and the title was, of course, The Season of the Dragon. And we finally got to learn, aside from uh, the data mining data already data mined stuff we finally got to learn what's it all about the expansion is indeed elsewhere and the next title of elder scrolls online will be elder scrolls online elsewhere and we do actually have dragons now i'll do a quick recap of things to come so 2019 the reason it's called <laughs> season of the dragon is because entire year of 2019 with all its dlcs and expansion will be supporting one single storyline which i really think is a cool concept oh yeah oh yeah i agree i, like I mean it, it, dep- it will depend on how the story is obviously oh yeah i mean it, it i like the reading team but i mean I, if it sucks then okay well then yeah, yeah that's not yeah, good but, but the concept <laughs> is really cool do you want me to play yeah. this trailer now yes all right so this is the trailer that they've shown us Peggy 18.
Here we go, guys. Okay, it was longer than I initially. Three minutes. But... <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say that was actually longer than I. For some reason, I thought. The... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. One thing I want to quickly point out: Has anyone else realized noticed the fact that Abner Tarn runs a lot faster than a Khajiit in the face of danger? <laughs> <laughs> anyone Did also that notice he put on a little bit of weight? He looked a little pudgy. Yeah, I know he's a little chuggy, chubby. Yeah. Honestly. <laughs> I loved the trailer of Nortarn. He looks yeah, amazing trailer compared to his, his design yeah. in the game. He was, oh man, that armor, I want that armor. Yeah, no, I he, mean, he, that's they, awesome. Blur trailers are very, very pretty. Oh yeah. And oh, yeah. I mean, since they've started with this game, you know, originally, any of their trailers are usually pretty visually impressive. Yep. Okay, so... Um, that was the trailer for the expansion that will presumably come out in June. So we still have a long time before, well, about three, four months yeah. before the exp expansion hits. But as you can see, we have the tablet that was sent out. Do we? <laughs> well, you don't. Yeah, apparently <laughs> not, Zoss. <laughs> not, not physically. Um, no. <laughs> Do we, Zaz? Uh, so the redstone oh. tablets that you have seen in the trailer that Abner Tarn basically just carries and they snap together, which mm. unlocks a seal nice. <laughs> in the halls of Colossus, mm. uh, which reveals three dragons and unleashes them upon elsewhere. Mm. So the redstone tablets... <laughs> so happy, <laughs> Yeah, he's. I, I've been, I wasn't watching the trailer. I was watching Max's face the entire yeah, yeah. time. <laughs> um, so the two redstone tablets that we've seen in the trailer, they are the part of the story from the redstone DLC that we are gonna get first uh, in the Q1, and the theme is the story is that each tablet is guarded in one of the dungeons, because it's a dungeon DLC. It's a dungeon DLC pack, so there will be two dungeons, and one of them will have one half of the tablet, the other one has the other half of the tablet. And an interesting point, one of the tablets is being guarded by Meridia's forces. I know, I've, I think it's kind of interesting that you're now killing Meridia's forces, where you were on her side before. I was like, okay, I like that. They're just kind of flipping that around because, again... I am curious how they are going to, like, are they going to just, like, go, go over it? Like, okay, these are Meridia's forces and they're protecting the tablet for whatever reason. Or is it going to be more like, are we going to get in-depth into why Meridia is guarding the tablet and why we are now fighting against Meridia? I assume so because, again, the necromancy thing obviously has something to do with all of the way this mm. is intertwined and meridia is probably not a huge fan of all that crap so oh yeah no, I, mean, I also not. thought meridia would be one of the uh, main villains of this storyline because of necromancy yeah or which, at least the main appearance that's kind uh, of interesting to just flip the normally good date to be like all right now you know what <laughs> I, off. Now, here's the thing meridia is not normally good meridia is yeah. just against some of the things Yes, that, that also to most align. of Tamiya society is against, right? Like necromancy and undead. Yeah, but otherwise, during a late times, correct me if I'm wrong, Ag, but Merid, like Meridia's champions or whatever, had torture chambers and things like that. Well, you know, if you if you Meridia played Oblivion uh, and did the Knights of the Nine, Meridia's yep, champion was Umarel the Unfettered. Yep, I was gonna say he's he was the main antagonist of that entire DLC. Yeah, so it Meridia wouldn't be the Champion first time. Was not. I mean, he was an alien, and they all the the gut gardens oh, yeah. of Vindacell. The they were all about torturing the slaves. Yeah, they so. were some twisted <laughs> people. Yeah, they were nuts. Yeah, but that actually kind of comes into how Daedra really are in general. They're mm. a little yeah. Yeah, they're, they're just self-serving. Their motives I mean, are it, not black and white. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So that that will be the Wrathstone DLC. Now, another... So we, Here, um, I'll show you how okay, it looks when you put them to together. To <laughs> <laughs> Guess I can't. 
<laughs> oh man. So the storyline for elsewhere will be a necromantic imperial army is going to be invading elsewhere while dragons are unleashed upon elsewhere. So there is something seriously unlucky going on with Kajit world. Uh, <laughs> Too much schooler yeah. there. Yeah. All just, yeah. <laughs> that'll be the final DLC. Final DLC. It turns out they're just hallucinating. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best that's explanation to lore ever. <laughs> Everyone who goes to elsewhere is just halu- tripping on just, Skuma. This is a dragon! It's just like a seagull flying overhead. <laughs> it, it's essentially just a giant Don Quixote book. Like, <laughs> I will get you, dragon. It's the windmill. Dude, is he going to be okay? <laughs> no, he's, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I man. love that theory. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, uh, there's a new class coming with Elsewhere as well, which is which was also data mined, but it's the Necromancer class. I they gotta give props to this. Lines. I really gotta give props to this. The fact that <laughs> any time that you do necromancy in a city, you become a criminal. I love that. <laughs> exactly. That is so yeah. cool. That was really one of my like immersion questions with this. I was like, okay, I, I mean, a lot of people like, were necromancy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it was one of the main things that was discussed. Not not the fact if if it's going to be balanced, if it's going to be OP. Necromancy is outlawed in most of Tamriel, and even if it's not outlawed, it's looked like it's frowned upon. Oh yeah, and yeah. people were like, more than the fact that whether if it's going to be balanced or whatever, people were like. Our immersion. But during the reveal announcement stream, they actually said that if you do something too necromantic, so not probably not every skill or just walking around, but say you actually raise dead in the middle of a town, people will call the guards on you. That's really cool. They'll be like, necromancer, and you will get hunted down. Yep, I really like that. Yeah, they, they said they are still, you know, uh, building the system or not building the system, but testing things out and things yeah, like I think that, they're but... trying to make it as oppressive as possible without making it not fun. Yeah, because obviously fun is still a major factor, but it seems like they don't want you just running around. I'm gonna do whatever I want and spawn all <laughs> these things. I mean, if it, it would be frustrating if every time you walk into a town, a guard starts to attack you, you couldn't do, you wouldn't be able to do anything. But yeah, I mean, if you try summoning a skeleton bone colossus in the middle of white run or win- winter hold we still don't have white run unfortunately no. I, I was know. hoping it would be white run or markar we got elsewhere instead yeah. it's uh but yeah necromancer oh. class is here We're and it looks like so much poop in the desert <laughs> <laughs> it looks like necromancers are going to have a tank focused ultimate as well lotus we are going to be tur- yes. able to turn into a bone colossus that looks really cool it's just like a concept yeah. again there that class although that's probably because again i don't really do alts up until very recently where mm. i even have uh, like Far in here <laughs> exactly there's one exception um <laughs> it's a good exception to have yeah it just having like i, I had wanted a skill line but i was like i know a lot of people class so that's fine i'm glad people got what they wanted but mm-hmm. just being able to see people doing this stuff their skills sound just so cool to even just watch like in your party mm-hmm. so uh, man uh, yeah somebody turning into like a boss and stuff it's <laughs> that really i mean one of one of the other ultimates we, we had so during the stream we had this images like concept arts of the of the skill lines and another ultimate shows the player in front with a dragon at his back, probably like the dragon from the Fang Lair, so a spawned, you know, bone dragon. I have another spewing. problem. Yeah. That is not a dragon. That's a wyvern. Because it, it, dragons <laughs> have on. the four legs and two wings. <laughs> so on, dragons man. still do not exist in Tamriel. <laughs> Hold on. 
I gotta that find dragons it. never. Do you, oh, do you have the hilarious little I, I, yes uh, uh, picture thing? I love that picture. It, it was so happy. Stream. Hold on. Type it was so dragon. festive. <laughs> just to prove my point that dragons do not exist, I'm just gonna pull this up. Uh, there we go. Yeah, just just to prove your point. Just, so you're gonna to dig prove... up a century old discussion. Yeah. Oh, no, fantasy. totally. One hundred percent literature. Yeah. Literature. One hundred percent. There we go. We're just going to add that image. Uh, it's perfect. Uh, add source. We're going to upload this image. I'm waiting image. to see this. Come oh, on. Yeah. Uh, it's it's actually a really funny picture. picture. It's, it's what on, I'm thinking it's of. It's in the center of the screen right now. I'm just going to blow it up just a little bit so everyone can see it. And we'll <laughs> center that on the screen. Oh, God. The dra the yeah flying lizard chart. Yeah, it's yeah. A flying lizard chart. It's so, so funny. I, I just want to point out that when the thing came out, it had its wing claw. That is a wyvern. I, a dragon has well, four legs and two wings. Then there were never dragons in Elder Scrolls. That's right. All they there were only wyverns. And Akatosh isn't the dragon god of time. It's he's it's the wyvern, the wyvern, of wyvern time. god of time. Yes. Oh my god, Ak. I just want to point <laughs> this out that I am not wrong. Dragons don't exist in Tamriel. <laughs> we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Let... Just, just, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave this up in the center of the screen. Just, <laughs> just because. There we go. We just got to put that right. All right. So we are going to get a new trial called Sunspire. Uh, it will Full have three dragon wyverns. Ag. <laughs> Wyvern is a difficult word to pronounce. Okay. Don't make me do it. I'm going to keep telling, saying dragon. All right, I'll um, so let you say W three... Dragon. Say W Dragon. W Dragon. W Dragon. It will have three W Dragons. All right. Um, w dragon. As the bosses. Yeah. As as such in Cloud Rest and um, was the Asylum Sanctorium? Yeah. The other one with three, uh, yes. three different bosses. Yes. This time though, they are making it a twist, and each boss has its own hard mode mechanic, which is very now, interesting. I'm, yeah, it, I'm very interested in this. Yet I've still never done a single veteran trial, so I don't think I'll ever see it. It'll but I'm probably be unmercifully it. difficult, <laughs> would be my guess, because <laughs> some of the hard modes in the, I mean, the the Craglorm ones are, you know, been practiced enough. Good God, some of the other ones. I'll never experience the Halls of Fabrication one, because f that. But uh, the <laughs> the other ones, holy hell, some of those are no joke. Like. Mm -hmm. You start doing the plus one, plus two. Those are like, you do like plus two on um, some of the like boss. I, I just refer to them as like the boss rush trials with cloud rest mm. and um, asylum. You add like plus two and it's like, okay, you're just barely a step below. Like if you were doing it on vet, because granted things aren't as durable and they don't hit as hard, mm. but you have to be dodging all these other mechanics. Then when you start stacking those things on veteran as well, it's just like, oh my god, that's a lot of stuff going on. Yep. So, yes, so I mean, is. I don't know. I mean, two plus one hard mode for each of their own veteran trial thing. Well, and they mentioned it's something I'll never see. Uh, in the post stream, I noticed they mentioned skewing mechanics toward less of the boss rush ones from the, the previous two because people are saying they're kind of quick ah. and more like Mauve Lorcage. Ah, okay. So I'm curious. Obviously, they're going to have the three, you know, big fights. I uh, There's obviously got to be something more to it than too if it's not a boss rush mode so there's probably going to be ads floating around again and stuff I, i'm not sure it's it seems like it's going to be almost like a new twist on their trial sling again maybe yeah i mean as i said i'd never done a western trial yet so i don't know how things are there i mean yeah they can be yeah. kind of rough hmm. i think i need to change the name of this episode to season of the wyvern <laughs> <laughs> Or season of the W Dragon. Oh, season of the W Dragon. Yeah. <laughs> so, the most controversial part of the Elsewhere announcement, besides calling probably... were wyverns dragons, yeah. <laughs> which it is clearly probably... the number one hot button. <clears throat> the W Dragon says. The w dragons, yeah. says. Um, so there has been 
on Twitter has been on fire this past couple of weeks. It's mm. been insane. I've never had this many notifications that this many topics to talk about. And a lot of people on different threads has been <laughs> discussing how dragons or which dragons we could have on um, during ESO's time. <clears throat> and there are a few names that come up, you know. Uh, there's a dragon in Gerald Mountains that wasn't a, that people weren't able to kill. There's a dragon hiding somewhere in Morrowind. There's a dragon. Technically, you can't kill any dragon Rock. if you're not right. a dragonborn. You can't. Yeah, you kill it. Devour soul. It just. It, exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's. I mean, I'm. Yeah, I'm talking about like Merthic Air, the dragon Oh, they yeah, actually yeah. did kill that. Yeah, dragon. yeah. So, well, that's because they had a flowers. lot of. Oh. Exactly. Oh, exactly. Dovah but Keen yeah, running around. what I'm saying yeah. is, we do have alive dragons, and one is in High Rock, uh, which w later dragons. gets employed by Tell uh, I stepped him. <sighs> <laughs> you guys are killing me. <laughs> um, there's, of course, Partunax. There's, of course, Alduin, technically alive, but banished from time. So Yeah, yeah. he's all like, sort of outside time. Yeah. Then yeah. there is Durnevir from. Right. Skyrim Soul Cairn, who's not dead, not alive, cursed, undead, hanging that, out in Soul Cairn, serving the ideal masters ever since God knows when. Which I thought was a sound theory that you and I bungled into yeah. last episode. Yeah, we, we were. So this was our like between Casual Ranger, Goddess of Midnight, Lotus, and I on a Twitter thread. <laughs> Durnevir was our go to dragon. But to they've given us the names in... of these dragons, though, right? I'm pretty uh, sure they have the names. These are not. Yeah, any no, we, of the we totally not. We, we did not get. It. Yeah, right. we, we were completely wrong, yeah. utterly. I mean, <laughs> well, so, I mean, these you're not three... really wrong. You you went with the knowledge we had, and they just yeah. went, here. We're gonna pull oh, these yeah. dragons yeah. out of our rear end. These W yeah. dragons out of our the rear w end. And w here dragon. Go. <laughs> yeah, it's like okay, this was knowledge that we weren't given. So yeah. it was like oh. yeah. You can't so figure out a puzzle if you don't have the piece. The pieces, yeah, yep. exactly. We were trying to work with assuming they would just grab a dragon that floated. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So these are going w to dragon. be three yeah. new dragons. dragons. One of them we have given a name, but I don't remember. But I, if I recall correctly, Aramithia said it's, it, it means champion, time, uh, and... Uh, yeah, I think Man, something like that. Man, it, Mandor Band, something like that. I believe his uh, nickname was uh, Carl, I think is what Carl started <laughs> yeah, calling like him. Kagronit, Kagro go, <laughs> Kagronit, something yeah, was, like that, I know. Even Rich during the announcement I stream didn't screwed it up, say I his know. name. And that's why yeah. I think in the post show they were like, we're just going to nickname him because I can't <laughs> say this name. <laughs> so uh, initially I thought, okay, I mean, Dragon Bosses as Trial, that's... I've been saying that, okay, that's I'm something I'm okay with. Either a story point or, you know, trial boss. That's a, that's something I'm okay with because from a lore perspective, even though you keep repeating the trials or whatever, you kill them once and it's over. Yeah, so I mean, there's MMO but, mechanics you have to deal with. Sure, so yes. Fair. But, yeah, it is still a actual apparent, game that yeah. needs to be played. <laughs> Dragons are going to be world events for elsewhere. So they are world events. They are player-triggered world events. Now, this is a different topic from our dolmens or gazers or world bosses. Mm -hmm. They say they are player-triggered. I don't know how it's going to work. I don't know what they mean by player-triggered as of yet. Um, and they are saying they are going to be massive. And they are pointing out that we do not have a dragonborn in second era. We are not dragonborns. So it should be it should not be easy for us to kill a dragon. Right. So, and theoretically, we wouldn't kill them. We'd probably drive yes, them off. Yes. So that's like, there. Are, here's the thing. Positive sides for me. I've been dying for an extremely difficult world event where you actually have to get a lot of people together to complete. Yeah, that not sounds like awesome. Not like world bosses when you can solo them. Not like dolmens where you can solo. Not like gazers where you can solo. Any world event that you can solo is not a world event. It's just there. I agree. It's not an event. Yep. It's just a world thing that you can kill. Yeah. A world event, quote unquote, in my opinion, needs to be like, oh my god, the dragon is spawned, I don't know, east of castle, whatever. Let's go, people, and people just jump on their horses and just 
go there. Yeah, it's and South Litter Box, and he's there. blowing up the city. Yeah, I mean, you, you, if you go solo, you die. No matter how good a player you are, you could be the best player in the game, best player, fully golded out sets, you should not be able to solo a dragon. That's my first... If it's like this, I'm going to be happy. If it's the other way around, I'm going to be upset. This is... This is you one know, of one it, of my concerns. Right, make it the equivalent of like a, you know, beefed up vet hard mode trial boss where it's like, okay, this yes. thing's got a hundred million hit points. The majority of people are not going to be able to like. It takes you know twelve of us a long time to whittle one of those mm -hmm. things down. It's like okay, we can kill it. You know, probably not in a half an hour or whatever it is. But it's like okay, mm -hmm. bring in fifty people and then we can get it yep. down in like maybe five ten minutes or something. So right, yep. And as you said, we can't kill dragons at this time. We did, there, is, there should be no way for us to actually kill it. So th this was actually brought up to me by Ophelia Noir at first. She said, um, well, maybe we don't kill them in, say, maybe they just, you know, go away once you drop their health enough. We have a, drag a W dragon back. spray bot. We just spray them in the face. <laughs> <laughs> And then we turn and spray the Khajiit, and it's all good. Yeah, I was going to say, they both hiss and take off. <laughs> yeah. Now, Alduin actually did this in Skyrim. When we first fight him in Troth of the World, we drop his health low enough, and then he just runs away to Sovngarde, where we hunt him down. However, my question is, why would these dragons keep getting beat up and come flying back down again for another round of getting beat up. Well, nobody says they're and, smart W dragons. Yeah. And, and are they going to be the same three dragons that we fight all the time during these world events? <sighs> That's what I'm curious on. Because, again, them existing doesn't bother me because... The only thing is... We are going to get there as well. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm holding Ag back for now. I know. That, that topic. That's just <laughs> it. And that's why we can kind of like go toward that. Like them existing doesn't bother me, but like... I, and that's... and that's It is what it is. There was wiggle room that they could bring in dragons, so that's yeah. fine. I just don't want there to be like, okay, and then there was this event in Elsewhere where a thousand dragons came and they just beat the hell out of everybody <laughs> but nobody remembers anything like then you would literally need to be like oh like i joked about earlier everyone was just really hot because otherwise it's just like okay <laughs> that's a lot of dragons uh, casual ranger made a very good point i think it was casual ranger on twitter um as to why these events would go on like wouldn't go on the record the imperial library oh yeah being He's toasted down it, by Daedra. Like I mean, yeah, the interregnum. A lot of Tarmia. Imperial library. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, that kind of that made sense to me. I'm because we have the same thing in world. I mean, when uh, Genghis Khan invaded, well, yeah. basically a lot of places. Everything. He, he destroyed <laughs> like the library of Baghdad Julius and Julius Caesar and like, entered uh, Alexandria in Egypt. He destroyed the. Uh, mm -hmm. The temple yep. or the library of Alexandria. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah, I mean, so this when when uh, he mentioned it, it made sense to me. Like the libraries are being actively destroyed and burned. Right, and they so are. So there is that. My main concern about it is that not that no one remembers it, but that dragons becoming a common thing, like dolmens. You know, well, um, because at the at the beginning of the game, dolmens were this thing that was exciting. I don't yes. want dragons to become, oh, another dragon, I'm just going to ignore it. Like, right. like exactly. I ignore world events, like I ignore dolmens because there's nothing to gain from them anymore. Yes. When I, I see a dragon, like, make them so important that when I see one, I don't ignore it. Yes. That's my main concern. Yes. Not the lore part, not anything. I don't want to ever ignore a dragon. They got me with the lore. That you can happens. say it; it's fine. I don't care. They got. They have a. They have a, okay, a valid no, no, lore got, excuse explain. for dragons. Yeah, they've got some wiggle room. But it, again, I don't want their it biggest to just... excuse is that they're not dragons; they're wyverns. So <laughs> yeah, they don't be dragons. Uh, it's but wiggle room aside, I just don't want it to become. Um, they're still supposed to be rare. They're not supposed to be this that's, every that's, three exactly, seconds. That, thing, yeah. We're not in the dragon war and stuff like yeah. that it's like it, it, so that that's my only thing it's like but that's my thing with anything it's 
how many slowed did we fight in Somerset? Like three? Yeah, three, there weren't a whole three. lot. One yeah. was a world boss. One, one was a world boss. Dungeon boss. And then one was the trial boss. So three. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and because they're mecha- it's an MMO, they respawn. But in reality, once sure, they die but, once, they're, they're done. Yeah, but, they're you dead. Know? But, yeah. but like there were three of them. Like that was fine. If every 40 feet I was tripping over another slug, eventually I'd just be like, man, these things are a lot less cool. Like, I right. don't think I play them the slower pretty cool. But they use them just enough to expose you to them. And then it was like, okay, it is what it is. These are your If these dragon events, when the dragons come down, are one of, like, three... Like, it's always one of the three dragons, the name dragons... Yeah. Perfect, you know? I think it'll yeah, like exactly. Yeah. I just think, don't I believe it will be like that. Yeah, just don't overkill it because again, mm-hmm. just everything in moderation yeah. is fine because then it doesn't yeah. lose its impact. Right. Yeah, dragons are supposed to be this really amazing thing, but if they come down every 3 seconds, then yeah. it's like oh. it'll turn into the end of Skyrim where I'm like this stupid dragon is in my way <laughs> as I jump on it neck and Bridge, and I, I just, just like I'm, I'm just trying to get it. Nurn root and yeah. dragon. All I wanted was the Nurn root, and now yeah. you, leave me alone. You gaze I gotta into kill the myself. And a legendary g- dragon. <laughs> you gaze into the distance, and a dragon and a giant is just casually fighting <laughs> over a mammoth. <laughs> exactly. Another thing is like, what could be the player event or player activity that triggers a dragon attack? What could they? What what that could be? Do you guys have any idea? Because I don't. I can't imagine I'm, any right. uh, anything like yeah, that. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm very curious where we're going with this story in general. I, um, are, from a game, from a um, an actual um, mechanic wise, I I don't know if their engine can support like a random gathering of. This is where people are in a dragon spawns. Oh, like there's a certain Ooh, pop cap that yeah. gets hit, and they're like, "Oh, you triggered this I because you have be so many awesome people." Awesome if it that did. That would be actually pretty cool if but it I did something. Don't oh, think they're that would that make point. so many. That would make so many like guild events and everything too, because you would need numbers. You would mm-hmm. gather everyone in an empty space. Like this is where we summon the dragon. Oh, I can see that being a fun yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. No, that'd be really cool if they do that, but I don't think they're gonna do that because. I don't think their their engine and technology they have can support is it. designed for something yeah. like that. Actually, that that shouldn't be too difficult. That sh- I think they would have that data at all times because of performance reasons anyway. Maybe. To di- to oh, maybe like it. when it hits a certain performance, ca- like oh, okay, we're noticing an inf here. Yeah, I mean, if they drop that dragon, you know, if they are instancing people like in ESO, it's one single mega server. Yep. Or rather, well. They are. Uh, it's technically not one single mega server. It's uh, yeah. servers, just in the same instance. But they are instancing people based on the crowdness of the current like nodes. I'm gonna call them nodes. So I wouldn't actually notice better mm-hmm. being more involved with servers, but they are allocating people between a lot of servers. So to do that, they would have to know how many people are in a certain node. And I don't think it's too difficult to know, you know, separation in that if within itself. Because when you go into Riften, for example, if it's too crowded, it will put you into a different instance of Riften. So they would know how many people are in that is instance of Riften at a time. So I guess it, I don't know. It feels possible. It feels possible. Maybe too complex. Maybe they didn't. They have a better idea in mind that we didn't think about. Maybe, I'm. I don't know. I'm just. Oh God, Isha's Isha. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, okay. I I read that wrong. I thought she meant like you, by you spawn dragons with crowns. <laughs> oh no no. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, that would be a sin against nature. Yeah. <laughs> You it's need to the crown with crate. gold. Like you open it up. Oh, I got a dragon spawn token. Oh, I got a dragon Yay. spawn token. <laughs> uh, wow, that would be abysmal. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you've got to lure another, them in with money. <laughs> another thing, by the way, I want to point out from the trailer is that the Breton hero finally showed up. Yes, he's back and he looks kind of undead. Yeah, <laughs> I mean it makes sense. Considering. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah, he's probably gonna have 
Yeah. Something to do with the necromancy Don't, thing. Did those Argonians look like they had imperial attire? Uh, I see Isha in chat. She says, every time Arkaneer streams, the dragon spawns. Well, since he doesn't stream anymore, <laughs> there's no dragons, and therefore, I'm right again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm thinking, like, if the imperial army is invading elsewhere with a necromantic army. Remember how the North hero captured the old Mary hero and used her to blow out the door gates uh, like walls of uh, Imperial City? Maybe our Imperial army captures the Breton hero to summon a necromantic army for them. Maybe. So yeah, yeah, we maybe. know we're going to get the second part of that trailer at E3, I think. So. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. yeah, they mentioned that. Yeah. I also like how that the trailer, like what they're doing in the trailer is kind of like oh, you'll get to play this out now, which is kind of cool. It's like, oh, we got these tablets. We went into the... It's like, oh, for the actual thing, you're going to go into these tombs to do that. I was like, oh, that's like a cool way of mm. doing it. It's like the trailers foreshadow what you get to physically do to complete the trailer. Yep. It's like, that's kind of a neat concept. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Uh, See if the dungeon... Well, uh, the dungeons sound like they're probably... Yeah. So what else from the expansion we are having an amazing character back cadwell oh is my god yes cadwell. again voiced by john cleese i love that and we are gonna learn about cadwell's past before he became a soul shirvan so i'm th that's actually one of the most excited i am about yeah. the entire expansion oh absolutely yeah i was gonna say he's he's fantastic and he's so funny. John Cleese is just great. Yeah, he's more John Cleese. Even Rich said, like, he's, he's a comic relief at times, but he's definitely, I'm pretty sure Cadwell is everyone's favorite. Like, the number of people who doesn't like Cadwell, I believe, is very, very low. I don't want to meet the people who don't like Cadwell. Okay? Right? What, what is, <laughs> they're monsters and they play AD. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, so it's kind of funny. Um, because, yeah, they said they're going to go into, like, the story before, before he comes soul-shriven or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, I think he's just I'm not dead. <laughs> I don't think he's soul-shriven. Yeah, I, I, but, like, either way, like, I'm curious if we know who he, like, is he a new character or is he someone that we should know that, you know what I mean? Like, should he have a real No, he doesn't person? have a name. They, they asked this way long ago, like, before okay. he was even out. They asked, like, who are these characters and do they have names? And they're like, no, they don't really have names. Okay. They're, they're just, supposed okay. to represent They're They were originally supposed to represent the players, the player, yeah. like they're standing. Mm. Okay. All right. All right. So we know all DC are undead zombies. All right. I mean, yeah. they started to develop their own personality over time. They're just like this, un not even the player <laughs> character so much as they're supposed to represent a hero of that Alliance. So, yeah, and I just want to point out that the Ebonheart Pack won because we used the Altmer as essentially a giant battery, and which was really the, funny. The DC is a uh, a walking corpse. Yep, <laughs> just pointing that out. Hey, I accept. you know I want to see the end of our North Hero. I know. I was gonna say. I assume. I assume the that'll be us next year. Is we get to see actually our Nord Hero. The side. Nord Hero is already. He does have an ending. You see him at the end. He's he's sucked into cold harbor. Don't you remember him looking up? Right. I, well, no, but I, he's he didn't just busy see winning. Him him. <laughs> he's, he's, just, he's, he's just kills yeah. Bonnie Marco, then gets sucked into yeah, Cold Harbor. No big deal. I'm just gonna Ball. go to Cold Harbor and beat the hell out of uh, Molag Ball real <laughs> yeah. quick. <laughs> yep. I'm just gonna take care of this, guys. Yeah, Hold no my big, meat. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. Um, we'll also have a couple, well, just the ones that are announced, a couple quality of life improvements. I've actually tweeted about this and it blown up. It was like, everyone was like, yes. Uh, the fact that a new player doesn't have any idea how to do story in this game. Oh, They get dropped into the latest expansion zone. And they start doing quests there. But here's the thing. We have a bunch of recurring characters. We have a, we have a linear storyline. So if you don't start from, say, if you're a Heart Pact, 
if you don't start from bleak rock then you don't understand the story right. because when you do main story it it's in line with the alliance storylines mm -hmm. the zone storylines because you meet like the leaders and everything like that they know you you know them uh you know there are characters that die or survive based on your decisions throughout the alliance storylines they are recurring characters and when you do the story out of line for example if you do somerset first and then go to morrowind there are recurring characters that was supposed to know you in somerset before yep mm -hmm. so it's like there's there's this mess they don't also since there's no level system in the game anymore like they can sub if someone can start the alliance storyline from Riften, start doing quests in the Rift area. But you're supposed to start from Bleak Rock, Stonefalls, Deshaun, uh, right. Shadow Fan, then the Rift. Yep. That's how it works. But because there are no level restrictions, everyone could go anywhere. Yeah, and that's a huge problem for new players. Like my friends who start the game, they always ask like, dude, where do I start the main qu quest? How's this, how, do, how do I know the next quest? Um, so they are bringing in a zone explorer quest helper thing that will show you with blinking stuff in the map and things like that. Sort of like the skill advisor uh, plus map visualization. Um, like when, where is the next story group? Where is the next quest NPC? What do you need to do? Things like that. And I believe that was a necessity and I'm glad that they're doing it. You know, and now that you is, explain it, like I wasn't real big on it before. Yeah. Like when I first, I'm like, why? But now yeah. that you're sitting there explaining it, I'm sitting there, since I've been there from the beginning, it makes sense, but you're right. right. Like, yeah, it's like, no, I, whenever new fr my friends join now, it's just like, so what do I do? It was like, oh God. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> do you have four hours for me to explain while you pick your thing? <laughs> I mean, it, it is true because if you do the stories out of, like you meet, uh, you, Riften was a good example. You meet the, uh, the mother. I can't remember her name now, of all the murdered children who essentially fall, like her family entire died and she joins the oh, worm yes. cult. She's like a major Earth story Turner. arc. Yeah, Earth Turner. Earth Turner, yes, yeah. yes. But like all if you the start way from there, Bleak Rock. Yeah, right. well, you meet yeah, her in Bleak Rock. But yep. if you start there, you find out she's in a worm cult, great. And then you go back to yeah, Bleak Rock like, oh, and all of a sudden she's like, hi, making yeah. like, you know, food. <laughs> yeah, because she's technically not there it's yeah like, she hasn't become you didn't betray anybody yet, yet. <laughs> yeah the i the, mean we 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 the old players have this intuition towards where is the next quest npc is we can just sense it because of the how the game is built it's like you complete the quest at this position you just gotta move around like 10 meters you'll find the next one <laughs> right. yeah it is a good change so, now that i now that yeah. i sit yeah. down and think no about it, it, it is it is um, um they're also to overhauling that, yeah go ahead i was gonna say in regards to that um the cp thing related to the whole like going forward part there are no more cp increases oh yeah they're not going to increase the champion points with the dlc or the expansion yeah level. or or they said in the foreseeable future they have no more play oh I didn't, I didn't see that because um, they imagine <laughs> They Imagine the being the guy who has 2,700 CP. Yes. Um, so I guess what they're doing is over the course of the year, they mentioned that they want to try to see if they can find a way to let us continue to get powerful without completely just making the gap so extreme for... I guess the problem is people are having issues with the dungeon finder now because mm. the DLC dungeons are undoable for people like unless you're cap. So the new dungeon yeah. packs are just like not even able to be experienced, I guess, from the newer players. Yeah, but On there's normal, always the normal can. dungeons. Yeah, I don't, I, that, don't. So 
My thing is, and I guess this will, because usually I'm like, ah, I'm not really That's that a whiny elitist. Okay. excuse. So this is my situation where I get to be elitist. Give me infinite power creep and don't stifle me, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> I want all of my CP. <laughs> I mean, they already added a catch-up mechanic. I mean, just keep yeah. increasing the catch-up mechanic up until... So, ca- my goodness, in the beginning, like, remember when it first came out, you were doing, like, an entire zone oh God, and got, like, two. Now you start a new character. Ranks? Yeah, or a new veteran. Oh, rank, but God. I mean, I mean, no, even champion points were hard. Now, if you have like the rested and you're new and the CP yeah. caps like a thousand, you turn in one quest and here's 20 champion points. It's my like, oh, my wow. favorite, yeah. we uh, during a double XP, I think it was the Witches Festival. Uh, one of my buddies, it's right when he hit CP, it wasn't this year, it was the previous year, he just hit like 50. So he pops, he's like, Oh, I'm champion rank now. We're like, All right, pop your potions. Pop your scroll, whatever. <laughs> drink the buff, and we're gonna do a random dungeon. And he got forty-seven champion points. <laughs> one yeah. random here's, in one here's random. Here's another thing: daily rewards. I've got so many scrolls, experience scrolls. Oh yeah, they're ridiculous. I can't drain them. And, they and they don't. If you don't yeah. play a ton like, of alts, you never use them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um. But yeah, I know what you mean. I mean, I like that there are there's content in the game that I am not able to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I, like I don't know. I, I, I hope. I don't know. I know I, I, I can't do they... hard mode veteran trials right now, and I'm happy with that. That gives <laughs> me a drive to get better in the game. Yeah. Yep. Otherwise, why would I? Why would? What would I go for in the game? Yeah, I mean, it's fine if they take one or two DLCs off while they try do whatever they're doing but it's like mm-hmm. i would like to go back to earn like i mean i like just earning them so i mean it's fine that they still keep adding yep. up or whatever but i like the little like 30 or if you're gonna cap it could you cap it at like a thousand or an, an even, even number, number please yeah. <laughs> not a <eight>, ten <laughs> yeah make it an even number because this is killing me yeah <laughs> fair yeah <laughs> fair um Last thing about the expansion, I'll mention that as well, because I see Ejelo slowly melting away on his seat. Uh, I'm good. <laughs> he's, I'm good. he's barely awake. Um, <laughs> they are going to overhaul the guild store. Yes. Guild store, so we are not going to have to use the awesome guild store, which is an absolutely amazing add-on, but it breaks all the time. I'm sorry if the maker is listening to us. It's just frustrating to use, but it is the only option as well. I mean, I use it all the time. So they are going to make it and make an integrated, hopefully working, guild store system. Um, They are also making a guild finder. You'll be able Mm -hmm. to list your guilds as like, this is a PvE guild, this is a social guild. You are going to sort of put put out like an ad for your guild. And people will be able to either search them by name, um, or by like I am looking the for a style. PvE guild sort of thing yep. by style, and they'll be able to join request join. This is a good change in my opinion if it mm-hmm. works uh, because yeah. we have a problem with the anything finders in the game. Uh, yeah, not to mention the guild store that we went over <laughs> last time when you said how do I search yeah. on console and I said I. That'll be a huge step in the right yeah. direction for me. Uh, like new players, especially, it's like. They don't. You try to get them into the guild, but it turns into a ten-minute progress. Mm-hmm. As Ninja in the in the like post show <laughs> mentioned, the it's like, they don't know their IDs. They yeah. don't know what's your what at name. Oh, you, you don't know your at yeah. name. Yeah. Wow. Like it's the, it's your account name, not your character name, but your yeah. character name works as well. It's a process. So instead of just like press, I don't know, G, go to that guild finder and request join, and we'll invite you. Kind yeah. of. Yeah. Might be. No, condensing that is good, especially for people when they're just starting out. Yep. So yeah, that's the, I guess, all recap of the announcement uh, stream. They didn't mention the Q3 and Q4 releases. They are still hidden, but they will still be in the same season. Well, they said what they were, because there's... No. Yeah. Well, they, yeah, yeah, no, there's going to be a dungeon DLC in quarter three. Oh, and then like, like a, yeah, yes. they, they gave you the overview, which I still think back to a call back to a couple shows ago when we were all talking. Um, maybe it ends in the Nibbane Bay 
for the final area. I hope so, dude. I want an affordable Nibbanese house. Like the hey, I mean Not they the they Im- need a zone story. And yeah. that would still fit with what's going on, probably. Exactly. Dude, I hope so. I hope so. I am bored. I'm tired of the Colovian Cyrodiil. Okay, I want to see the Nibenese Cyrodiil already. Please give me Nibene. I want it. <laughs> um, Especially with the art team doing everything, because like yeah. elsewhere mm. looks super cool. All the previous ones do. Um, uh, man, they could probably make that place look gorgeous. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, one final topic to discuss if you guys are not dead. I'm not dead. Keep going. Nah. Power intro. Uh, <laughs> that was the intro, so the real show. <laughs> the real discussion. <laughs> For elsewhere, expansion. We do not get a physical collector's edition. Which there is only digital collector's edition. Plus, there will be purchasable collectibles. Now, they, they sent out a tweet about this when there was a huge backlash because everyone was so ready to throw their wallets at their screens yeah. to pre-order the physical collector, including I me. Did. I mean, it I got a new job. I can't afford this stuff now. That's the, yeah, I mean, <laughs> Edgelos was pretty upset. I know a lot of people were pretty upset. I yeah. mean, yeah. I'm very upset about that. And Now, let me tell you about the reasoning, and then we can discuss. Uh, the reasoning they had is... Sorry for cutting you off, Ag. Yeah, um, okay. No, you guys cut each they other said, off. I'm I'm fairly good overall. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta work them. Uh, they said on Twitter that oh, I, I, my brain just stopped. They said on uh, Twitter, and I'll summarize. Want, okay, you got it. Yeah, yeah. They don't want their uh, most you know dedicated and long term players to keep buying the base game over and over again what does it matter? because that's what you do when you buy a physical collector's edition the base game and the expansion comes together with it so you keep buying you technically keep paying for the base game as well now this is actually a sound like this is, i i should like this okay because every currency exchange rates and everything this stuff comes in very expensive so right. i should like this but at the same time i'm like I got a new job, and the first thing when I got a new job was that I can get these stuff right away without waiting. That was my like. I can, hey, helpfully like, and not helpfully. Um, I can, with ease of mind, peace of mind, I can just buy these and don't care. Mm-hmm. But they don't do a physical collector's edition, and I don't know what they will bring in terms of physical purchasable goodies because they said they will instead of a physical collector edition we'll be able to buy them but i don't know if it's feel going to feel the same yeah. no it's not it's the experience of the whole box and who freaking cares about I, if the stupid dropping double box basic, right if you're you're buying it for the collector stuff anyway who cares right and if you're dropping a hundred bucks on already you have disposable income like, yes you're not scraping by if you're doing this or you're neglecting something if you're scraping by and you're buying something this extravagant that's not and, and we all like, know bethesda has no freaking problem putting out just physical items that are hundreds of dollars meridia statue exactly like so i don't know it i i definitely i was a little let down by it too um mm-hmm. and I, I mean, again, I, my original thing was like, well, why not make two? But again, it's confusing enough to try to suggest to people how to buy these things. Because I remember when Somerset came out, I was like, well, there's the physical version. There's the physical collector's version. There's the, there's the digital version. There's the digital upgrade. There's the digital upgrade with the Morrowind expansion attached. I'm like, wow, this sounds like a nightmare. And I remember... Tom Real Unlimited, Tom Real Gold Edition. Yeah, and my cousin (laughs) at the time when I was explaining it to him was just like, yeah, so tell me which one to buy. (laughs) I'm just like, buy this one. (laughs) Also, here's the thing. I mean, whenever you you get a full pack of collector's edition... If you don't want, let's say, the digital collector's part, right? Because, for example, for Morrowind, I don't have the digital collector's edition. I just got the standard upgrade back when Morrowind came out. Um, 
And I don't really care about the digital collectorism because I already have so many mounts and pets that not having that one mount from the collector's edition doesn't really matter to me. So I can give this away. This I can give this code away like to a friend that's want to start or we can do a giveaway on the show. I can do a giveaway on my stream. I can just leave it on Twitter. Whoever gets it, gets it. It's like there are possibilities. We can utilize that game code as well mm -hmm. or... Or just separate the game code and the collector's edition code in there. So base co base game gets a code, collector's edition gets a code. I use the collector's edition code for myself, and then I give the base game to a friend, and there we go. I hook up another friend into this game and give them one month of sub as well. So they get hooked up to craft bags, and there you go. You got a lifetime player because addict. they can never like any yeah lifetime <laughs> addict there we go he'll then then they'll go like play call of duty and they'll be like where's my crafting bag <laughs> i can i can't carry enough ammunition fair ah. it's not an unfair Zoss, let me give you money come on yeah i, I know come this on. is a weird situation where i i there are somewhat limited things i buy where it's kind of just content based things I got Merkmeyer for free because of the login reward. Can, and I was like, well, that's awkward. Can I throw a conspiracy theory out here? Sure. I don't, yeah. I don't necessarily buy the B PR of them saying uh, it, we don't want to overcharge our loyal customers. I mean, they've been doing that since Bethesda was you know, around. I think I wonder if they're gun shy because of Fallout seventy six. It's kind of funny. I actually thought about it. I didn't want to mention it. No, I, I was I wasn't <laughs> going to bring it up because I've actually mentioned that in a couple of discords because I know you know what with them being sister companies to each other. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm wondering if they you know the production problems outside of their physical building, like because yep. you know they're sister companies, but they're not the same company. So. Mm -hmm if they have similar overlapping people they do business with mm -hmm. and all of the fiasco from that has kind of like backlogged things because now they're having to make those bags for people and stuff like that. Yep. Did that screw up anything? For, who knows, you know, behind the scenes. It's, like, it's a conspiracy theory, but yeah, I mean, so it's, you know, I, I, I could see that having an impact. Yeah. I, I could see it being a, a root cause. Wow. We have a sty hydrated bot. I don't know. I mean, I've been drinking water, but there is a <laughs> look at chat. We we do now. We do now, apparently. <laughs> I'm drinking water Drink out of a people. wine glass because I'm classy. <laughs> I'm, yeah. Um, Standard tumbler. I'm good. Another thing is, I'm like these boxes. They come around two hundred dollars to me if I order from Amazon. Ouch. Um, yeah, but the like customs fee shipping because they are big boxes and they come all the way from you know 7000 miles away yeah which this one actually arrived in 4 days from US and arrived me in 4 days in Turkey so i'm not happy about well, that when i sent you <laughs> somerset it arrived in turkey it, well, quickly it just sat in turkey for a month <laughs> exactly yeah i mean I think our customs office cannot figure out what this is. They look at it like. I think this? it's gonna kill me. It's, it's drugs. <laughs> is, this, is this a cult? Is this a cult thing? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> because there's like, imagine Mephala. Imagine you are a random person, <laughs> like don't play games or whatever, and you see Mephala statue. It's like, what? I see. What, what is this heresy? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, like, I well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> um. So what was I going to say? Oh, okay, yeah. Um, but this is a single box item. So one single shipping cost, one single customs fee. It's done. If I have to buy separate items, oh, separate like, goodies, I was thinking might they might do a like add up pack. to a bigger cost. I hope so. As a I hope yeah, so. so you're thinking they might sell them individually. Like, oh, here's the yes. art book. Here's your statue yep. whatever yeah i mean it oh. might unless it comes with a box like this it might end up being more expensive because yeah, we right. all know buying stuff in bulk is generally cheaper than buying them individually right yeah. like if i huh. let's say if i tried to buy this uh contents of this 
more of it bucks. Like the not, I would probably pay a hundred bucks for Naru Journal alone, because. <laughs> Ouch. I mean, that's an exaggeration, but... But no, just in general, like, yeah. Yeah, because 7,000 miles, however small your cargo is, it cannot go below a certain threshold of cost because of the distance. So the fragmented the items are, the more fragmented they are, the more I'll pay. So hopefully they'll make like a box, another box like this, you know, and it won't be called collector's edition, but it would be called, I don't know, um, summer, uh, elsewhere, physical, fancy the e, items The pack. elsewhere edition. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, so I, I hope we still get a box, just not the game with it. And thank you, uh, Berserk Zod, for joining the Shield Wall. Much appreciated, buddy. Subbing up there. Twitch Prime, you mm -hmm. rock. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, I think I think um, that's all I have for the announcement stuff. I think I that's the majority of it. That was a yeah. lot of content that came out in this week. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap! Is it? I think it's past one a.m. for you guys there. Yep, uh, it is. Yeah, no, this yeah, this was a months, you guys this was a deprived. beefy show. We've been <laughs> well, just so much happened. Yeah, between yeah. the Monday hype cycle and like <laughs> today, that was a lot of content to cram into like a four and a half day span. Uh, yes, so much. Oh, by the way, the dragon called Cal Grontid. Okay, yes, Cal Grunt. It's which again, now I understand why his name is. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah that, okay, I was, I, I'm pretty sure that's oh, all right. My brain is like fried, not from being tired, which that is a thing, but <laughs> recapping all of that at once instead of over the course of a week, that really is a lot of information to retain <laughs> in two hours. <laughs> it is. It definitely is. All right, guys. Well, I guess that'll be the end of the show. Yeah, I think that's everything covered. All right. Cool. All yeah, right. I think we are now caught up to date on the news. Are we? Are we good to go? Okay. I, I think so. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, everyone, for joining on this episode of Tales of Tamriel. I want to thank my amazing co-host, Arkaneer Silvershield. You can follow him on twitch.tv slash Uh and Of course, you can follow Lotus of Doom at Lotus of Doom everywhere except for Twitch, which is just yeah. Lotus OD. Grinds at him all the time. Yes, it does. Yeah. Lotus of Doom everywhere else except for Twitch, his main platform. <laughs> anyway, you can follow. All that information will be in the description of the podcast below. But you can follow everything we do over at DungeonCrawlerNetwork.com. There you find links to all of our social media, including Twitch, YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. Be sure to check out our Patreon program at Patreon.com slash DungeonCrawlerNetwork if you want to help support the show. You can also consider leaving us a five-star review on iTunes so people know that we are a real podcast, that we say real words. And sometimes they matter. And this is how you do an outro. Thank you so much for joining us on this episode <laughs> of Tales of Tamriel. And we'll see you next time. See you later, everybody. See you later. Have a good one, everyone. When Akatosh slew Lorcan, he ripped his heart right out. He hurled it across Tamriel, and the heart was heard to shout, Red Diamond, Red Diamond, the heart and soul of men. Red Diamond, Red Diamond, protect us till the The laughing heart sprayed blood afar, a gout on seer it fell. And like a dart shot to its mark down in an alien well. Magic effused the lork in blood to crystal red and strong. Then wild elves cut and polished it down to chimel at a ball. Red diamond, red diamond, the heart and soul of men. Red diamond, red diamond, protect us till the end. When 
elves lost learn to men Akatosh gave the stone to Saint Alesh in token of her right to sit the throne Red Diamond, Red Diamond the heart and soul of men Red Diamond Red diamond, red diamond, protect us till the end.